know. Let me know. Let's tune in. Tarot Love Team. I have several of my friends and family. I'm going to be pulling some Major Arcanas for. We want Major Arcana movie spreads right here. Let's tell them what they need to know most for their highest good. I want to thank you for clarity, accuracy on my part. Help me see. Help me speak. Help all my friends seeing here uh, what you have for them out of these reads tonight. Thank you so very much, love team. Cannot do this without you. Appreciate you, my guides. My guides. All right, Dave. Gemini, just let it roll. You got it. You got it. You got it, Dave. Um, I shuffled the star, man, Dave. When I was doing our little invitation for our friends to come play with us. So let's rock with this, Dave, my Gemini friend. Dave, my Gemini friend. Dave, Dave, first card out, Dave. Here we go. What we got? What we got? Right. Whoa, wow, transformation. Whoa, the death card, bro. You know, well, it's a huge change right there. It's definitely Scorpio. I think we're still in Scorpio, aren't we? A couple more days of Scorpio season right here. It's a Scorpio card. It's the story of the butterfly. I mean, you can see the challenging. And you can see, like, uh, the flowers. What is that? An iris, maybe? Um, Scorpio energy. Death and rebirth, Dave. Death and rebirth, brah. Beautiful. Let's go. Let's go, man. I like... I'm not scared of that old death card. Never have been, man. It's about coming out of the other side of the cocoon, looking like the butterfly. Dave. Justice came out, Dave. Karmic balance has showed up in your spread. Now, I also see this about you being personally balanced within yourself. Uh, whatever may be going on, death and rebirth right here to justice. Um, and this is about, you know, you being nice and balanced yourself in this rebirth energy. Don't, Jimmy Jim, don't be pouring out all your, all your heart. And don't be all stuck up in, your, in the head. You know, I got a brain in one, a heart in the other one right there. And that's what I read with that right there. Um, nice balancing energy. It tells you to be balanced. I don't know. There's a rebirth energy here. There's a rebirth energy to, to, to uh, justice. This is a nice energy. Huh? Give me something. Dave. 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 Dave Hershey. And the magician showed up, Dave. This is uh this is a Gemini card right here. And it's a Mercury card. Um It is my magician, it's my deliberate creator, Dave. Look at all these cards right here, Dave. Look at these um All of these cards have like uh their arms are like uh, looking like the justice scales. Look at that. That's just interesting. I just thought I'd show that to you. You know, there's balance coming in here for you. We could say that, definitely. A balance that you have manifested. You're definitely the manifester. You're the magician right here. As above, so below energy showing up here. Death and rebirth, Dave. Death and rebirth. Justice to the magician. Let's go, Dave. Dave, give me a couple more for Dave right here, and we're going to clarify these. Dave, the Empress just showed up. Damn. <laughs> Dave, man. There's the Empress right there, Dave. <laughs> uh, this is Venus. It's a Venus card, right? Love and abundance, passion, lavishness. Yeah, to say the least, you know, when the Empress shows up here, we got the Magician. <laughs> There's an Empress. Oh, Lordy. Oh, okay. <laughs> Let's go. Give me one more, Dave. In one more dive. Yeah, the old empress showed up here. The magician manifesting the empress. <laughs> oh, a lot of strength. There's strength right there. Bit of Let's put strength right over there on that death card, huh? Strength. <laughs> Give me one more for Dave. I'm going to play with a full deck right here. A full tarot deck. Oh, this is the moon. This is the moon. Uh, that's divine feminine energy. You got a lot of divine feminine energy showing up around here. 
and a fool card. So about a fresh start, new beginning, brother. <laughs> okay. All right, I'm having fun with your spread, man. A lot of nice cards. This is this, you know, strength and the moon says, I don't know what the hell is gonna happen. I don't know what the hell is gonna happen. Uh, but the death cards about death and rebirth, justice, things balancing out. Because the magician, the magician's always about pure positive thought, pure positive words, inspired action. To the empress right here and the fool. About a fresh start, new beginning, Dave. Let's pull a couple of tarot cards on here for Dave, please. Give me something on this death card strength moon right there. Oh, who's this? <laughs> That's Queen of Swords just showed up right there, Dave. Uh, at more air energy. I'm, I'm giggling. Oh, it's to the Emperor. Damn, to the Emperor. To the Emperor right here. The Emperor is down here, right here by that Empress. Okay, looks like that's where we're going with this story. Um, Queen of Swords energy can be somebody that may have been in your life, um, a little cold and detached on the outside, but inside, you know, ooey gooey, soft and chewy. There's a rebirth energy on there. Here's another rebirth card. Judgment. It's another rebirth card right there. Scorpio energy again on that, Dave. Oh, look, man. It's the great adventure. It's the Knight of Wands to the sun. Somebody wants to come play in the sun, Dave. See the fool right there with the sun? Yeah. <laughs> you look amazing, Dave. <laughs> now, I like that you ain't stepping in any bear traps down here. See the bear traps? Yeah, it's nice, I had to point out, because because we got somebody coming in here to play in the sun. Oh, damn, Dave. Shit, man, you may be going off the market, dude. Damn, that's that old 11, 11 card. You know, for me, that is my card about preparing for the big day. <laughs> yes, sirree. Oh, oh man. Uh, I got divine timing cards underneath my hand right here as well. And uh, another another uh, justice card showed itself to me, divine timing. And justice showed up on this spread, Dave. Hope you got something out of this, brah. May all your dreams come true. Love and light, Dave. Love and light. All right. Don't step in no bear traps. <laughs> it looked like fun, though. <laughs> yeah. Nice stuff. Nice stuff. The magician manifesting the sun. Okay. Connor. Connor, let's play some cards again tonight, my friend. Thank you. <laughs> I like you, Lee. I like your comments. You're fun. Oh, thank you, Lee. <laughs> hey, Bedazzled. Nice to see you tonight. Is Connor still around? Oh, thank you, Dave. Thank you, Dave. ACTC, hello, my friend. Yeah, yeah, I like it. I like it. I, I hope my I hope my friends like it, but I'm going to do pick a card here for a minute. Feels good. It feels fresh, you know. Um, we'll see. We'll see where we go. I'm always thinking about something new to do. And then, 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 you know, I see if people like it by the views and <laughs> if the views aren't high, well, we set it to the side and we try something, something new again. There's my Connor moving on to a new job. Wow. Congratulations. Okay. All right. We'll, we'll look, we'll look at that. We'll look at that energy right there. Again, that fresh start energy, huh? Very nice. Very nice. All right. Connor. Let's play with uh, Elemental Wisdom, Connor. Uh, a couple of major arcanas, and then we will clarify. We'll clarify it with a full deck. Double trouble. All right, Connor. 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 Moving in a new direction. Let's see what we got. Oh, wow, the Wheel of Destiny, the Wheel of Change, brah. An omen of good luck and good fortune came out. First card, huh? 
And look at that big coin up there, too. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Because here's all the zodiac signs, right? That's a coin, bro. That's a coin right there. An omen of good luck, good fortune, and the wheel spins. The wheel spins for Connor. Win a win a chicken dinner. Let's go, Connor. 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 What we got here? Oh, damn, the Empress. Oh, Venus. Wow. Um, the Empress energy is always birthing something new, something creative. Um, in the Garden of Eden right there. Wow, that is a beautiful energy if you're moving in a new direction, Dave. Give me more on this for Dave, please. Oh, it's Connor. <laughs> I already read for Dave, Mike. Connor. Connor. Here we go. We had Connor. Connor. Wheel of Fortune to the Empress in your new, your new endeavors. What's this about, man? An emperor and an empress... Came out. <laughs> hey, hey, maybe, maybe you'll meet somebody nice in your new world, man. Hmm. Uh, Emperor Empress came out after this wheel of fortune, this wheel of destiny, Connor. Oh, wow. <laughs> Give me some here. That took me by surprise. That took me by surprise. Give me one right here. Give me one right here for Connor. 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 We was looking at this new career opportunity. I don't know, man. It's a star. Star, again, for me, is about moving in a new direction in life with great faith, great hope, uh, the potential for dreams to become reality. It's a big Aquarius energy. It is a beautiful energy of healing and dreams coming true. <laughs> wow, dude. Wow, wow, wow. Oh, and, and, and there's, there, there's, well, it's the hermit card. And uh, I read the hermit differently. It is about quiet time. It's about being led and guided by the divine. Huh? It's about being wooed and led to where dreams come true. <laughs> wow, man. It's about planetary alignments. Oh, look at this right here, man. It's so very nice. And, and then, wow, there's some movement right there, bro. Hey, if the roof's on fire, we let the mother humper burn, man. <laughs> we got to go, man. We're following, we're following the leading of the divine on a new journey. Very positive cards here, bro. And I don't know what that emperor and empress is about, but I'm going to leave it on the board. <laughs> All right. All right. Give me a full deck right here for my Connor, please. Connor. Connor. Here we go. Give me something on that wheel of fortune. Wheel of Fortune, Connor. Wheel of Fortune, Connor. Here we go, Connor. The moon came out. You know, that's like wondering, possibly, uh, am, I, am I making the right move? Am I making the right decision right here? These are very positive cards, and you may meet somebody special over here. <laughs> um, so the moon talks about get your rest, get your sleep. You know, get tuned into source right there. I mean, something on this empress, huh? This empress, this, this birthing of something new. Give me some. Give me some on that empress, please. Oh, wow. Face card came up, dude. Queen of Swords, uh, Aquarius, uh, Libra, Gemini. Wow, we got a big Aquarius card right there, too. Interesting, huh, bro? Okay, got a face card on that, huh? Queen of Swords. Uh, Queen of Swords is a beautiful energy. It may have been somebody that's been single for a while. Anyway, that's interesting right there. What we get right here? Wow, like temperance. Temperance came out on the emperor, brah. Oh, the angel of the middle way showed up on my emperor over here. Major Arcana. Oh, oh source has got some here for you, brah. Here we go. To the star, please. To the star. To the star. Oh, wow. That's movement. That's uh, eight wands. This came out on the star. It's about movement forward. It's a very positive card, eight wands. And then there's the chariot moving in a new direction. Being led and guided by the divine right here. Give me something on the chariot, please. Or Connor. Looks like you're being led in the right direction, Connor. And 
I don't know, man, with temperance. <laughs> they could have more than just a... Oh, my goodness, I got a king of swords on here, too. These are... Uh, these are my soulmates right here. Um, it could indicate that, uh, well, that uh, these two soulmates, it could be this emperor and this empress. Uh, it's, these are my separation cards. So um, you may know who this is right here. It can talk about a reconciliation or it can talk about old soulmates that haven't played with each other yet. In this incarnation, but either way, we got temperance and eight wands, very victorious to the star for an emperor and an empress, right here, dude, <laughs> dude, dude. You know that's four, that's four wands. <laughs> Connor, man, Connor, <laughs> I think the gods got a plan for you, bro, about preparing for the big day. But I definitely see some forward movement right there, forward movement, an omen of good luck and good fortune. Cupid's arrows of love showed up around here too, bro. Looks like you get this and that. This and that. Money and love, bro. Anyway. Hope you enjoyed that, Connor. Love and light, my friend. Enjoy your journey. Be safe. Get your sleep. Get your rest. The gods before you. All right. My Cindy Lou Who. My Cindy Lou Who. Hey, Voyager. Nice to see you. Solomon. Hello. 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 Nice to see you. Nice to see you. Okay. Cindy Lou who? Cindy Lou. Cindy, are you still around? Hold it. There's Mitchell right there. What's happening, Mitchell? I'm going to put you on my list tonight. It'll be a while, bro. But I got you right here. Mitchell, thank you for 10 months of membership. Appreciate you so very, very much. Okay, we're with Cindy Lou Who. Cindy, my Cindy. There you are. Hey, Cindy. Nice to see you tonight, my Libra friend. Anything in particular you want to look at, Cindy? Level two read. You get all the majors and a little bit of clarification on them. Let's go. Cindy Lou Who. Uh, I feel led to Tarot Apocalyptus. It's gorgeous. Let's go. Cindy Lou Who. Cindy Lou Who. Cindy. 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 First card out. Oh, wow. It's a fool card, darling. There we go. There we go. It's about a fresh start, a new beginning, maybe a leap of faith in a new direction. It's definitely a childlike innocence energy with this card right here, uh, Cindy. It's about a fresh start, a new beginning. It's Uranus upon the sudden change showed up. Let's go. Give me some for Cindy. Give me some for Cindy right here. Cindy. 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 Oh, for the Empress. And again, it's Venus. So you got Uranus and Venus. This is a sudden change. Could be a sudden change in a love story, darling. Uh, for my Empress right there. Uh, that's a Taurus. That's a Libra card right there. It's a fresh start, a new beginning for my Empress. Ooh, very nice. Cindy, Cindy, what do we got? And the Wheel of Destiny. The Wheel of Change for the better. Um, you can see Aphrodite right there. She's kind of looking like... Uh, oh, <laughs> may have been... May have been hoping for this new energy to show up. But show me that this new energy is showing up right here. That's an omen of good luck, good fortune. It is a Sagittarius card. It is the Wheel of Fortune. The Wheel of Fortune for my Empress. Give me some. Cindy. Cindy. Oh, wow. An old cycle ending and a new cycle beginning. The world card showed up. With the lovers on it, darling. I, you know, you know me. I mean, I'm always looking for coupling, but... Hard not to see that with this right here. You know, the Wheel of Destiny, looking at uh, my Empress, and then the World card about an old cycle ending and a new cycle beginning. There's a fool. And this is, you know, it's got the lovers on the World card right there, my friend. Ooh. And a chariot. Be safe. <laughs> Be safe. Big Cancer showing up around here. 
Be safe. Looks like a chariot coming charging down the road. I see a chariot charging down the road here on the other side of the new world. Here we go. Here we go. Give me something on the fool for my Cindy. What do we got? Tell me about that fool card right there. Cindy, Cindy, Cindy. Oh, it's the Page of Wands. Could be new. It's, you know, this is my passionate communication. It's a minor arcana fool. It's an ace with a face. It's a page. It's a page of wands. And that's about passionate communication. Something that makes you feel good. Got a little bit of fire right there. Give me some on that Empress, please. Some on that Empress. Definitely got new start energy right here. The Empress, um, there's a Knight of Pentacles that came out on this right here. Um, so this is like, it may, this is a love story. It may have taken a, a while for it to unfold, but I like how this Empress is looking at the stability that, you know, these cards are indicating are coming in here for you, right? The Knight of Pentacles may have taken a long time to come. Uh, but that is a very stable energy right there. Leading to a new world right here. Give me something on the Wheel of Fortune, please, from my Cindy. Cindy, Wheel of Fortune. I got a face card. I got a King of Swords, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus. I got, I got, three, I got three face cards here, so it may be talking about somebody that's got air in their chart that may have earth in their chart and they may have fire in their chart but i see passionate communication that could lead to uh stability i do see that over here and this king of swords um as well i like the king i like the king for my empress right there let's go let's go give me something on this new world new world for cindy oh it's the hermit it's the hermit Look at these pictures right here. You know, the hermit is about the leading and the guiding of the divine. It can be some healing. But the hermit's manifesting a new world for you, or the gods. Are man this is about planetary alignments for me, about being led and guided by the divine. Nice stuff. And then this, and then this chariot right here, darling. Give me something on that chariot right there. And some on that chariot. Some on that chariot. My Cindy. What? Oh wow. Six pins came out. Could be the old land of equal give and take. That would be nice, son, the new world. Not just a taker. <laughs> nice. Give me one more on this, please. Chariot for my Cindy. Oh yeah. <laughs> Uh, somebody's following that old bald eagle right there on Journey. It's a lightning pony. It's a lightning pony it's coming in here. Um, I mean, it could be somebody you know, right? Uh, the Empress with the slow pony. Slow pony picking up their pace. Uh, this is a lightning pony on the chariot right there. Somebody's going to come in here and put in some effort from what I can see. Whoever this is, they definitely want their high priestess. This is about people being led and guided. I don't know. That's a beautiful, beautiful cup right there. Seems to be a love story unfolding for you, Cindy. Hope you got something out of this. May all your dreams come true. It looks very positive that it does, my friend. Enjoy the journey. Love and light, Cindy. All right. All right. Crimson Moon. Crimson Moon. Hello, my friend. You still around here this evening? If you are, say hi to me. Maybe what you're thinking about. Pull you a couple cards tonight. Crimson Moon. Oh, it's coming full circle. So it said. Yeah, you're a good tarot reader. All right, may all your dreams come true. Hey, hummingbird. Keys, hello, my friend. Nice to see you tonight. I'm looking for Crimson Moon. 
Is Crimson still around? There you are, right there. Hello, my friend. Anything in particular you want to look at for tonight? Solomon, it's easy to get a reading for me. Well, let me get my cards up here. See if I got them. Oh, there they are. It's easy to get a reading from me. Uh, smash that button. Become a member of Ramble Nation. You can choose the level, the amount of time that uh, you would like me to spend with you. You can get a reading every month for as little as $6. $6.99. I mean, you know, I probably got some tarot readers upset. $6.99, but it is what it is. This is, this is for members. Members. Let me see if I can get this full card over on this side. Oh, props. So if you want to read with me, it's easily done. Smash that join button and uh, become a member of Ramblin' Nation is really the best way to get in reading with me. Or a one-time $9.99 super chat. That'll get you an 8 to 10 minute read with me tonight. Um... So it's easy to grab a read with me. It's not overpriced, in my opinion, at all. Anyway. Oh, Lordy, man. What is going on around here, man? Maybe that'll work. <laughs> Maybe I should invest in one of those fancy machines everybody uses these days. Maybe. Maybe. I kind of like old school. That'll work for tonight. Easy to get a read with me if you, if you want one. $9.99. I take all my payments through uh, YouTube. Super chat right there. Best way is smash that join button. You get a reading with me every month. You can get one as little as $6.99 every month. All right. So I hope I answered some questions right there. Crimson. Crimson Moon, my lovely, lovely Crimson Moon. Thank you for the patience right there, Crimson Moon. I should have done that earlier. All right, let's rock and roll. Let's rock and roll. Crimson Moon. Crimson Moon, Major Arcana read. I seem to have grabbed uh, the uh, Tarot Apocalyptus, Crimson Moon. Crimson Moon, what do you want to say? What do you want to say, love team? Major Arcana poll, movie spread, Crimson Moon. Here we go. Hangman. Hangman, Pisces energy right there. You know, it's that stuck like Chuck in a broke down truck energy right there. But uh, this is about hanging in the hangman's tree. When we hang in the hangman's tree, we get a new vision. So I don't know if this is you or somebody you know, but um, it's about seeing things in a different perspective in life. Here we go. Here we go. Crimson moon, crimson moon, crimson moon. Here we go. What's that? Ooh, to justice. Look at the beautiful justice came out. The beautiful justice came out after Hangman. So um, it's about getting a new perspective, maybe about what's balanced and what is not. It's a beautiful energy about uh, things balancing out here for you. Definitely would be coming out of the Hangman's tree. Crimson Moon. Oh, <laughs> divine feminine energy. Well, well, <laughs> and now all the gods and the goddesses are behind my little uh, priestess of the moon right there. See him? I see him up there. And, uh, <laughs> oh, this can be about somebody getting a new perspective about how freaking amazing you are. And, uh, you know, the moon is like, um... We're going to see. We're going to see if this is balanced or not. Uh -huh. There's a beautiful rebirth energy here. I think I think this hangman right over here, uh, um, you know, wants to come out of the old ocean right here and climb the love mountain, take, take, a, take a leap off into glory right over here. And, uh, well, divine feminine energy right there might be like, um, well, you know what's under here, Crimson Moon? is um, there's a sun card, darling. This is divine masculine energy um, and divine feminine energy right here. Um, all in all, it looks pretty positive, right? Because, uh, well, this hangman, they hang in that tree until they get the vision, right? Is it old American Indians right there? They, they use hangman a little bit differently than traditional tarot. 
they hung in that tree until they got the vision, darling. And then justice came out, right? That's a very, very powerful card about karmic balance right here showed up. For my divine feminine showing up as the moon card, right? <laughs> moon card. It's all your doggies. <laughs> yeah. Be careful with that. That looks sharp. And then and then uh there's a rebirth energy right here. It's Scorpio. We're in Scorpio season. You know. Somebody wants to climb the love mountain with you right here. Take it take it take a leap is what it says. And it, it you know, it's that it's that divine partner energy, right? The sun and the moon. The sun and the moon have showed up around here. Um, and we got justice on here. We got somebody that looks like they got the vision. Got the vision. Anyway, hope you got something out of this. Do his best for you. <laughs> My priestess of the moon. Love and light. Love and light. Crimson moon. Love and light. Crimson moon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see you right here, secrecy. It's it's not it's not with YouTube. It's with me. It's with me. I'm I'm definitely definitely trying to keep up with all this around here. So let me I did see your banner come up. Let me get your name on the list and give you a holler right here, my friend. Yeah, it, it's me tonight. It's Monday night. I'm always I'm always very busy on Monday night. There is my secrecy right there. And um 10 months of membership. Thank you, Secrecy. I got you right here. It'll be a minute before we get to you, but it's Monday night. It's Monday night. I haven't I haven't pulled cards since Saturday night for anybody, so Mondays are pretty busy. <laughs> they, they always have been. I got you right here, my lovely Secrecy. 10 months of membership. Thank you so very much, and thank you for your patience. And I got no problem with you guys hollering at me. Mike, did you see my did you see my banner? Thank you very much. I I got no problem with that at all. All right, my secrecy. You're definitely you're definitely on the list tonight, my friend. All right. And that brings us up to my sky, sky hunter. Sky hunter. My lovely sky hunter. Um, hope all is well with you, Sky. Um, maybe what you'd like to look at tonight. What you thinking about, Sky? Got a level two reading, all the major arcanas, and some clarification on it with a full tarot deck. I'm Virgo Libra, my Virgo Libra. Okay. Let's play with uh, elemental wisdom. Elemental wisdom. Okay. Okay. All right. You know, a little bit of guidance, clarity. Okay. Let's see what it's talking about right here, Sky. Sky. Sky Hunter, love team. Major Arcana pull with clarification. Sky Hunter. Sky Hunter. I got an emperor that showed up around here. Now, the emperor can be about stability. But, you know, this emperor looks pretty dashing. Now, let's see where it goes with the old emperor right here. He is a four. And um, traditionally, I always like to look at fours as stability. But let's see what's going on around here. Sky Hunter, with your old emperor showing up around here, huh? Here we go, here we go. Here we go. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, damn, Sky Hunter and the Lovers, darling. Uh, what? Sky, you got an Emperor and the Lovers. Mm. That's the sun right there, darling. Wow. Sky. These cards come out for you regularly. <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. Sky. Sky, <laughs> yeah, it takes two, <laughs> takes two, huh? Wow, a wheel of destiny, maybe a wheel of the return. Uh, you know, that's an omen of good luck and good fortune for me. And the wheel spins, there's that sun, the sun don't want to go away. Sun keeps showing up around here. 
We'll see if it shows back up again. Sky, huh? The Emperor, the Lovers, the Wheel of Fortune. Sun keeps showing up, darling. What we got? Sky. The Chariot. <laughs> the Chariot. Big Cancer energy right there, Sky. Oh, yeah. That's, that's some forward movement right there. Somebody wants some kind of victory. <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. Sky. Your cards are always fun. Oh, they're coming in from my earth angel right here. This is temperance. Look at the chariot to temperance. Well, you know, looking at pictures right here. <laughs> yeah, a chariot coming in from my earth angel right over there is what it's talking about. Oh, and there's the empress, darling. There's the Empress right there. <laughs> oh, it says you're highly favored of the gods. It says the gods, because the gods came out right here. Uh, the gods came out right here after the Empress. And so the star, which is a beautiful, beautiful healing energy for you. Regardless if you want to play with this Emperor or not. They're definitely coming in here for their Earth Angel. <laughs> hey, so it's talking about with me, Star. Let's pull a couple of tarot on here. And see what else it wants to say. Star. I, was, I keep going. I'm reading for Sky. Sky Hunter, Mike. Oh, Lordy. Sky Hunter. Sky Hunter. <laughs> My star. <laughs> Here we go, man. Give me something on that emperor. Give me something on that emperor for Sky, please. Ah, three cups. That's a reunion card. It's a card of somebody misses their happiness and their joy and their bliss, possibly. Three cups. Maybe somebody finally made up their mind. There's someone that lovers right there. Because it could be a choice with you. Huh? Choice with you appears that, if I'm reading this correctly, it appears that you've been very patient. And the art of allowance is here. There's someone that lovers for Sky. <laughs> oh, Lordy. Oh, this guy is your devil. <laughs> uh, we got the, the devil and the lovers, so you know, it could be a TF thing right here, right? It could be a twin flame thing right here, Sky. Could very well be. Could very well be. <laughs> All right, I'm having fun. Uh, we got we got my classic twin flame cards right there by the wheel of fortune, huh? <laughs> Here we go, man. Here we go, man. Give me something on that old wheel of fortune right there. Oh, lordy, lordy, lordy. I'm shaking these out of this story. I'm shaking these out of this story. Here we go. Out, out, out. Out of Sky's heart. Out of Sky's life. Out. Oh, yeah. It's the Dragon Slayer showing up after I shook those out right there. Seems they're being led by the, well, I'm going to call them the Golden Eagle up there. Yeah, right here on the chariot. <laughs> oh, damn. Damn, Sky. <laughs> Ooh la la. No, the devil's here. <laughs> the devil came out on the lovers, though, darling. <laughs> you know, you know. <laughs> oh, well, the dragon slayer showed up, man. Woo! Okay, I'm right after we shook all those swords out. Give me a couple more here. I got the beautiful healing energy of the star. I got I got the guiding light of the god shining their lantern on my empress. Here we go. Here we go. Sky. Sky. Here we go. Sky. Oh, it's six wands, kid. You, you know, I call I don't you do what's best for you. I titled this card a long time ago. The triumphant return of the Sun King. It is Jupiter and Leo. It's six wands. It's that card about receiving the attention that you're worthy of. And all that fun stuff right there. Uh, six wands for me can be a long-term committed energy as well. One more. Sky. <laughs> See? I said long-term committed energy. That is the energy for me with the Knight of Pentacles as well. 
may have been a long time coming, but this energy that's coming in here, according to these cards, is here to stay. If you want, if you want, because it says you've got it going on with or without this. I wish them the best. <laughs> I hope they do come in here. The real offer for my Nine of Pentacles. Empress right there. Hope you got some out of that sky. May all your dreams come true, my friend. Love and light. Love and light. Okay, Victoria. Victoria. Victoria Goodlatte. Victoria, you still here? If you are, uh, maybe what you'd like to look at tonight. Victoria Goodlatte. And then Tommy's up after that. My new friend, Tommy. Thank you, Sky. Appreciate you, too. There's my Victoria. Hi, Victoria. Um, anything particular you'd like to look at? we got a level two read for you tonight. All the majors and a little bit of clarification on there. You just want me to throw them out and see what they say, darling. What you thinking about? Okay. What? All right. All right. Victoria Love Team says whatever, whatever she needs to hear. Let's go. Let's go. Let's see what the tarot talks about. My Victoria, level two read. I have a uh, tarot apocalyptus majors right here. Victoria, good luck. Victoria, Victoria. First card out. Here we go. Strength. Big Leo energy right there. You know, it's the story of the beauty and the beast. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm Victoria. The story of the beauty and the beast right here. Uh, she's all tapped in to the divine right there. Strength from the gods coming in here for my lady in the white. All right, all right, let's go, let's go. Victoria, Victoria, what do we got? Victoria. Hey, the sun came out. These are two Leo. These are two Leo cards, just saying. The sun showed up over here. Hmm. I mean, that's the best card in the tarot deck. What, whatever was going on, this is a breakthrough energy for you. Ah. A world card came out about an old cycle ending and a new cycle. Huh? The old story of Beauty and the Beast over there to the sun to an old cycle ending in a new cycle beginning the world card a world card has Aquarius Scorpio Taurus and Leo one more time right here uh, Victoria Victoria Let's show me something about this new world energy this new world energy coming in here oh, hangman showed up <laughs> The new world energy seems to be somebody getting a new perspective. <laughs> oh, somebody changing the way they're thinking. Somebody changing their stinking thinking, possibly. <laughs> oh, for, for their angelic angel, you know, baby, please don't go. Is that what I'm looking at? It's Scorpio energy again one more time, Victoria. It's a death card showed up around here. That says energy of death and rebirth. You know, a very challenging time. Strength card, beauty and the beast. Hangman is somebody that wants to come out of the hangman's tree. You know, somebody stuck like Chuck in a broke down truck over there. They definitely want to play with their lady in the white. Because the sun's shining on you. The sun, the sun is shining on you. And uh, maybe reflecting over here. <laughs> So let's play with some.
Let's play with some tarot on this right here. I got uh, the strength, the sun, an old cycle ending, and a new cycle beginning, a hangman. Somebody thinking about things differently. They seem to be thinking about rebirth energy right here. Because the sun's shining on you, so... I wish them the best. It looks like it's going good for you right now, Victoria. So, my golden angelic being right there. Here we go. Here we go. Give me some on that strength card, please. Strength for my Victoria. <laughs> yeah, I see you right there. Oh, 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 it's the lava, darling. It's the Knight of Cups. <laughs> Hi, Victoria. Here's my cop. Oh, Lordy. The lover just showed up. Because <laughs> the sun's shining on you, man. Well, shine. Shine my crazy diamond. Shine. Here we go. Give me something on that sun card, please. For Victoria. Here we go. What do we got? What came out on that? It is the Queen of Pentacles. It is the catch. It is the one that's grounded, balanced, stable, loving, generous, kind, giving, uh, prosperous, abundant. <laughs> oh, Lord, the sun is definitely shining over here. Oh, yeah, look at all that, too. My nine of pentacles, my independence, self-assured, confident business. See, you got it going on. I knew that with that sun right there anyway. I knew that with that sun. Yeah, <laughs> somebody's coming in here. Here's my cup. Here's my cup. <laughs> oh, Lord, I wish them the best. Here we go, because they need to show up with the best with this energy you're rocking in. Give me something right here. Give me something on this world card, please. Somebody definitely... Strength again. Looking up to the gods. Um... <laughs> I need one more on that, please. Strength again. <laughs> the lover showing up. Woo, load it. <laughs> Here we go. Give me, give me one more. Give me one more. Couple of majors. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh damn. Uh, that's about the sexiest looking devil in all of my decks. Strength. Oh, oh, Lord. Yeah. Now, let's see what's going on around here. Because strength came out. So, you know, strength to the devil. I don't know. They can talk about. I'm not putting any sugar on those cornflakes, Mike. It can't talk about that. I got it going on over here. Then hangman came. And that's about somebody getting a new perspective, you know, because still stuck like Chuck in a broke down truck. That's what I'm reading right here. <laughs> you may tell somebody to go sit down. <laughs> you may. You may. Give me something on Hangman. Hangman right here. Hangman. Hangman. Oh, three cups came out. <laughs> Hangman. <laughs> this person that I'm reading for right here is thinking about all those options that they had. I would say that they got a new perspective about my Nine of Pentacles, my Queen of Pentacles right here. I don't know. They may be. They they may be willing to let all these other cups go because I got a death card right here. This is very interesting, ain't it? Death card right here. Somebody's definitely seeing how amazing you are these days. I'll tell you that. I wish them the best right here. But I think when they come showing up, you're gonna go tell them sit down and go think about yourself. I'm not interested. And causes somebody to rethink everything again one more time. Yeah, look, five pins came out. I swear it says, it says either you have told them to go sit down and think about themselves or you're about to. If this is a return, it could be a return, right? Five pinnacles. Oh, that says it's so cold out here. It's so cold out here, Victoria. <laughs> here we go. Yeah, there's nothing over here. There's, oh, here it comes then. Here it comes. Uh, this could be an apology card. It's a, it's a page. It's a page of cups showing up. Oh, baby, baby, please don't go down to New Orleans. You know I love you so, baby. Please don't go. 
<laughs> All right, drum roll, please. Let's see what shows up on this death card, huh? Death card, death card, Scorpio season right here. Drum roll, please. <laughs> here we go. Oh, Queen of Love. I don't know. The Queen of Love is looking in a new direction, darling. I don't want to tell you what to do. You know, we got the Page of Cups, you know. We got the Page of Cups, the Eight Cups, huh? Eight Cups. Um, and then the Queen of Love, she has her back to all this story over here. Wow. Oh. <laughs> I need one more on that, huh? One more on this. One more on this. Oh, wow. A face card came out. A face card came out right there. Could be a new energy. You know what's going on. It's King of Swords. Could be Aquarius. Libra. Gemini. Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus. But I got a Queen of Love. It looks like she's moving in a new direction to me. Death and Rebirth. Death and Rebirth. Anyway. Victoria, I hope you got something out of this. May all your dreams come true. May all your dreams come true. <laughs> uh, yeah, strength to the devil. That's kind of like a no. <laughs> anyway, do what's best for you. Yeah, the world's cards here. That's about an old cycle ending. Even though somebody got a revelation, it looks like a day late and a dollar short and all that kind of fun stuff. Do what's best for you, Victoria. Love and light. Love and light. Love and light. Snooze, you lose, you know. All right. Tommy, my new friend Tommy. Tommy, you still around? Tommy, you still around? If you are Tommy, um, what you thinking about looking at tonight, my friend? Welcome to the family as well. Welcome to the family, my friend. Um... Well, I still, I got Tommy, so one, Zoan, two, uh, Shannon Roberts, three, Erica, four, Kitty Cat Black, five, Stella J, six, Nina, seven, uh, Tracy, eight, Mitchell Bradley, and Secrecy. So 10 people, and uh, well, you know, 10 minutes a pop. 10 minutes a pop, so another hour and a half. This is what it is on Monday nights. <laughs> Monday nights, people want their tarot reads from me, man. Yeah. So, a while. You can go to the grocery store and do your shopping. Everything done right here. Anyway. Tommy, are you still in the house, my friend? Tommy may be at the grocery store. It's already been an hour and a half. Hey, Carrie. Okay, okay. I'll be here for a while tonight. It's Monday night, man. Um, at least till 9.30. No, that's normal. That's normal. Atlantean Angel, hello, my friend. Oh, wonderful. Thank you. Hi, Nina. Appreciate you, too. Appreciate you, too, my friends. All right. My new friend, Tommy. Let's pull a couple cards for Tommy. A major arcana movie spread. For my new friend, Tommy. Tommy, I grabbed the uh, star man right here. Let's shake it up for Tommy. New member of the nation, Tommy. Emperor showed up, bruh. Emperor showed up. Damn, you look amazing, Tommy. Look at that right there. I like that Emperor, man. He's got all the zodiacs around him. He's got some scrolls in his hand. Damn, Tommy. That's a four. You know, this is the king's king. You know, he runs the empire. Impressive card to jump out right there, Tommy. Let's go. Let's go. Tommy. Tommy. Movie spread for my emperor. Tommy. Here we go. Here we go. Dude, man, the death card came out. Big Scorpio energy. It's a rebirth energy for you. Could have been some challenging times, to say the least. 
Challenging times. Death and rebirth. Let's go. Tommy. 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 And the magician came out. I saw the magician. Now it's definitely on the board. This is my deliberate creator, Tommy. Uh, you know, as above, so below energy. Oh, look at the, look at these arms right here, huh? This kind of looks like the, the the justice scales. Interesting, huh? How those arms match up. But uh, my magician is about pure positive thoughts and pure positive words about your future, about your finances, about your love life. And inspired action is there too on the other side of this death and rebirth. It's a powerful energy. It's a powerful energy about not letting the old mind run wild. And uh, man, it's my deliberate creator. Let's see. Give me something on this for my Tommy, please. Here we go. Here we go. What do we got? Oh, wow. Michael showed up, dude. Temperance showed up with a couple of soulmates in his hands right there. Big Sagittarius. Look at all these arms. They all look like justice to me. Well, you got Michael showed up. This is beautiful co-creative energy with the divine, and that's how we use law of attraction very effectively, Tommy. But uh, definitely it looks like a couple of soulmates right there in their hands. It's temperance. Uh, that's the art of allowance. Um, the magician knows how to use the art of allowance. Allowing nothing but the good things to come into your life. Give me one more from my magician, Tommy. Very balanced uh, rebirth energy here for you. And there's a couple soulmates right there, brah. Give me one, give me one, give me one, give me one, Tommy. Wow, the star came out, dude. That's about dreams coming true. There's one sexy looking star card right there. Wow, and you know, it kind of looks like two cups down here. I don't know if the artist meant it to be like that, but I always see that right there. This is about dreams coming true. Can be about a union coming in here for you, one that you are manifesting. Definitely with the death card, you're letting the past be in the past. Um, star energy um, is about moving forward in a new direction as well in life. Um, this, well, there's a wheel of fortune too. A wheel of destiny came out. An omen of good luck and good fortune. Let's put that right there on my emperor. Put that right there on my emperor. An omen of good luck and good fortune. Change for the better. Death card, death and rebirth. My magician tuned into source. Co-creative energy with Michael right here manifesting this gorgeous looking star card, my friend. May our dreams come true, Tommy. Love and light. Love and light. Thanks again for smashing that button. Hanging with the fam for a minute. Appreciate you. Love and light, bro. Hope you got something out of that. Okay, and now we are with my Zoan, my Zoan, and then uh, Shannon Robert. Zoan, you still around? You still around? If you are, maybe what you'd like to look at tonight, Zoan. All right. Zoan, let's play some cards. Level two reading for Zoan. Thank you, Usagi. Let's go. Zoan, let's play with uh, Chow Apocalyptus, Zoan. Here we go, from my Zoan, my Zoan, movie spread, Major Arcana style, Zoan, here we go. Wow, this fool, it's a nice energy, 
you're in good company. It's about a fresh start, a new beginning, and life, and love, and career, and money. Right? It's a fool. Um, childlike innocence. Childlike innocence. Um, again, that's Uranus, the planet of sudden change. Aquarius and Aries majors are uh, zodiacs can be connected to that major. The fool, darling. Zoan, oh. The hermit card came out. And then this deck, it certainly looks like a high priestess to me. Maybe American Indian, maybe Eskimo, I don't know. Uh, but definitely tuned into the star right there. Definitely tuned, tuned into the gods. And this is, well, I always see this as the divine. It's about being led and guided by the divine. It's about planetary alignments. Um, it's all about a fresh start for you, my high priestess. Yeah, Empress too. Venus just showed up. Love and abundance. <clears throat> Looks like they're, the, the gods are leading you to this uh, Empress energy. This Empress energy, she's, she lives in the Garden of Eden. You know, it's Venus incarnate on the earth. Love and abundance. Give me some. Give me some from a high priestess. Empress right here. Fresh start in the beginning. Scorpio energy. Could be during Scorpio season. Again, death and rebirth energy. Can we get a little more clarity on this? You, there's a devil. I hope you're letting that energy go. Right, the devil is very talk. Oh, it's a, it's oh look, it's telling me a story here. I'm gonna pull you a couple more cards. But the death card came out um, with the devil energy. So, and then a star came out about uh, maybe moving in a new direction. That's all, all upon here. Letting the past be in the past, and uh, death and rebirth energy, strength from the gods right here. There's a hierophant right there. Oh. oh, you may be letting go of some very negative energy and could be moving in the right direction that could lead you over here to this awesome, you know, this is a high priest right here. Yeah, that would be nice for my empress, wouldn't it? A high priest energy. Yeah, because there's a high priestess. Oh my goodness, there's a high priestess. I see that. There's a high priest. And uh, <laughs> there's the empress in between. Wow, a tower. Hey, if the roof's on fire, we let the mother humper burn. And here is the emperor as well, you know. Um, high priest and high priest are, are, you know, divine couplings that I see in the 5D. But the emperor and the empress bring this to earth. Wow. Out with the old. In with the new. Let's see what the tarot has to say on this. Zoan, give me some on that fool card, please. About a fresh start, a new beginning. Here we go, here we go. Zoan. Seven of Cups. I could say you got a lot of people interested in you. I mean, you showed up as High Priestess Empress right here. It appears that there may be a golden rose right in the middle of all of that. You know, because this could be 5D energy right here, right now. High Priestess, High Priestess, I already said that. But Emperor, Empress, bring it to the, bring it to the earthly. There's a big red rose right there, my friend. Give me some on uh, the Hermit. It's going to be quiet time with source, you know, if you're separating yourself, tower, strength, all that up there. Death and rebirth, quiet time with source, healing the heart and healing the mind. Give me something on that high priestess. Yep, yep, four swords came out on that. It's about taking time with the divine, healing the heart, healing the mind, using that four sword to the best of your ability to re release yourself from all this energy that showed up over here. And some of my empress, Venus showed up, kid. Venus showed up. And a big ace, darling. 
Oh, damn, a big ace showed up right there on Venus, my empress. Ooh la la. All right, high priest card right here. The hair fan, darling, the hair fan. <laughs> here we go, here we go. Zoan, Zoan. Oh, the magician showed up. Wow. Um, again, this is all four aces wrapped up into one card. Um, Gemini, Virgo. Could be a clue. Aries is connected with that too, right? Um, it's magic. I, 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 I like I like everything I see right here. Uh, the magician on top of the Hierophant. This is somebody who knows how to manifest what they want. It looks like it could be spiritual too, kid. Here we go. Give me some on this old emperor that showed up here. From my Zoan. Well, they may have air in their chart. It is the Knight of Swords. That is my Dragon Slayer. Uh, they don't want my Empress to get away, man. I got something to say. Hey, 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 wow. You know, and the Magician, the Magician on the Hierophant, right, is about pure positive thoughts and pure positive words. Inspired action. Somebody's getting some inspired action right here. The old lightning pony showed up. Looks like, oh, looks like they're, be, wow, maybe they're fans of birds. Look at all those birds. But definitely somebody being led and guided by the old golden eagle right here to come over here and get this empress. Yeah, yeah. Big red rose. Give me one more on that emperor, please. Oh, damn, a face card came out. King of Wands, uh, Aries Leo Sagittarius, or the Knight of Swords. They may have fire in their chart they may have air in their chart uh, aquarius libra gemini summon reservoir get your healing get your healing my empress got 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 somebody that uh, looks like could be pretty serious showed up in your energy anyway hope you enjoyed that zoan may all your dreams come true my friend love and light love and light And I am with Shannon Robert. Shannon, are you still around here tonight? If you are, maybe what you'd like to look at, we're going to give you a, a major arcana movie spread right here. Shannon Robert. Shannon Robert. Shannon Robert. Is Shannon still around? All right, let's play with elemental wisdom. Elemental wisdom. Shannon Robert. There's my Shannon. Hey, my friend. Okay, so glad you're here. I love it when you guys are in the house. I like to feel your energy while I read for you, wherever you are in this big, beautiful world. Anything in particular you want to look at with this uh, movie spread right here? Aries. Okay, Aries Saji. Oh, damn. <laughs> a lot of fire there, darling. <laughs> okay. All right. Let's go. Shannon Robert. Shannon Robert. Major Arcana movie spread. Here we go. Oh, the tower. Damn. Damn. Damn, my Aries spread. It's Scorpio and Aries, right? It's a tower, you know. That's a lightning bolt from the gods. That means... uh. The tower had to come down. It wasn't built on a firm foundation. The tower is supposed to springboard us into a new energy right here, you know. Um, that's about change. We know that, right? Sudden change. Sudden change for my Aries friend. Let's go. Yeah, the tower is supposed to springboard us into a new world because it showed us what we don't want anymore. Wow, and there's a new world. There's a new world right there. About an old cycle ending and a new cycle beginning for you. That's the damn devil right there. Breaking chains that bind. Go, 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 Shannon. Go. All right. Breaking chains that bind. All right. All right. I don't want you lingering on the past. See, this is the moon card right here. You know, but she's got poppies and like illusions and all that around her. She's looking at this journey right here, so... Let's gather up all our wisdom. Let's get our sleep. Let's get our rest. Because there's a new world energy coming in here for you. 
Show me something about the new world energy. And the moon card, right? It's divine feminine energy. And it can be about, you know, psychic abilities. And who's this? Who's this? Oh, damn. Yeah, who's that? I don't know. I don't know if you know him yet. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe it's the emperor. I say that because I like this emperor. It looks like we got this Sunday best song, you know. Wow, that could be in your new your new world right here. You know, that's the king's king. That's not a devil. <laughs> no. No, not with these not with these ribbons moving in that direction. Oh, that's nice, man. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Give me some more on this. A couple more. A couple more for Shannon. It's a new world right there. Oh my god. Homne, homne, homne. The old Pope of the Tarot deck just showed up around here too. And your new world energy. And uh, one more card here from you. Huh? Strength from the gods. Strength from the gods on your new journey. Yeah. It says, it says, let the past be in the past, if I'm reading this correctly, because there's a new world energy coming in here. I like that emperor. And I definitely like the hair fence sent by him right there. Hopefully you got some out of this, Shannon. May all your dreams come true, my friend. Love and light. Love and light. Okay. <laughs> that looked like a nice new world energy to me. All right. Erica Elliott, my Erica. Are you still around, Erica? Got a level two read here for you tonight. That's a major arcana movie spread, and we'll clarify it with a full tarot deck right here. Erica. Erica. A Erica, if you're in the house, maybe what you'd like to look at with these spreads tonight. Thank you, Shannon. I liked your new world energy right there. All right. Let's do it. Erica. Erica Elliott. Erica, I haven't played with a star yet tonight. Let's play with the 22 Major Arcana from the star, the star tarot. Give me a give me a movie spread right here, love team, for Erica, and then we're gonna clarify it. For Erica, Erica, Erica. Here we go. First card out, Erica. Here we go. Wow. <laughs> Tower. I say wow, you know. This is about change. A um, lot of lot of change energy showing up. No, so you're in good company. You're in good company. There's a, there's a dove right down there because the tower is, you know, these are all cards of the divine. And um, this is Scorpio, Aries energy. It's about change. It's about sudden change, you know. And the tower, the tower wasn't built on a firm foundation, so it's going to come down. It's going to come down. It's supposed to springboard us into a new... A new reality. Um, the card that I'm looking at um, underneath that, um, well, I see you right there. I will absolutely pull you some cards. Hangman came out. Now, I like Hangman looking like this. Very zen. Very zen. Learned a lot of life lessons over here with the tower. Getting a new perspective. It's a nice energy, to be honest with you. I, I don't want it to take you into dark night of the soul, though. That's not what a tower is for. A tower is to show us what we don't want, so we quit putting our energy into it. And uh, so that we springboard into a new reality. That's what hangman can be. Hangman's getting a new perspective. About the sun. About the sun shining on your life. This would say the gods are with you. Absolutely, the gods are with you. See? <laughs> Is that you down there? Is that you down there? Soaking up all the goodness of the gods shining on you. It's a, you know, tower to hangman, getting a new perspective about what would make you happy, 
uh, what abundance is about, maybe what uh, love is about. Um, here we go, here we go. I love that the sun showed up here for you, shining on you. The sun showed up. Erica, Erica. Oh, and Temperance, Mike showed up, kid. The angel of the middle way showed up, mixing some cups. It's a big Sagittarius card. We got Sagittarius, Leo, Pisces, Scorpio, Aries. The angel of the middle way showed up. Let the sun shine on you right there. Get your healing, get your love. Huh? Self-love, realizing how amazing you are. That's how I read the sun card, amongst everything else that's good about that sun card. And to the, uh, to the angel in the middle way, my friend, that, you know, that's spiritual balance and the art of allowance. Give me one more right here. Erica, Erica. Oh, the high priestess. Wow, well, the priestess of the moon. Keeper of the mysteries of the collective unconscious. And I always, I always read, there's an emperor right there. Let's put that over there, my mic. I want to go back to talking about my high priestess, right? Um, the high priestess uh, in my stories is Persephone. She was in Hades, but she she got a jailbreak. She got a jailbreak right here so that she could come up and play in the sun. Hangman, um, getting a new perspective. Give me that sun right there by Michael. Um, it could be Mike manifesting something blissful. And... Hey, you know, I, I put him down real quick, but there's an emperor right there. There's an emperor right there. I, you know, that's that's the king of kings. Uh, nice match for my high priestess, if you ask me. So let's let's throw out some tarot on this. Let's. Yeah, there's a rebirth card right there for you. It's another Scorpio, Scorpio energy. Rebirth. Phoenix from its ashes showed up around here. Okay, give me something on the tower, please. Something on the tower for Erica. Give me something on that tower. What's that tower? Give me something on that tower. Erica. Five pins. Five pins came out. Um, that is a card of lack. And... Um, And it's definitely a soulmate energy on that as well. And hangman, right? Um, if a tower fell, um, you know, Mike's always, you know, if the roof's on fire, we let the mother humper burn. We'll figure it out, you know, when the dust settles. It could be talking about that right there, but five of pins definitely, oh, see, a new perspective came out right here uh, with seven of cups, and uh, that's on hangman. And it's kind of like, you know, there is a rose right there in the middle. There's a rose right there in the middle. Uh, you may let something go. They may be singing the blues over there. But there's a big, beautiful rose right in the middle of those seven cups that there is right there. Give me something on the sun. I put that high priestess on that sun. My priestess of the moon, my keeper of the mysteries of the collective unconscious. She's the one that's led and guided by the divine. Give me something on that high priestess sun right here, please. Erica. Oh, a face card came out. King of Swords came out on that. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Sun, moon, rise, and Venus. Give me something on Michael, please. Temperance. Sagittarius energy to the emperor. Hey, Cupid Zeros of Love, darling. Cupid Zeros of Love came out on Michael right here on Temperance. After the face card right there. After I talked about that rose. Wow. Give me something on the Emperor, please. Well, two wands. Two wands can be about making a choice in the near future. I like that. Rare, white. You know, elk, whatever that is right there, has the glory shining on it. <laughs> has the glory shining on it. Oh, 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 yeah, baby. Here we go, man. Here we go. Give me one more on this old emperor, please. 
<laughs> the dance of change came out. Two of Pentacles. I need more. We got twos here. Got a, got a situation showing up here for you. Eight wands to a bunch of twos. Michael mixing cups. Got a face card on here too. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus. Give me one more on this right here. The dance of change. <laughs> well, I don't know, man. They got a healing card. So after all this tower and stuff, it may take some quiet time with Source. I would recommend that as well. These cards do indicate that there's a big red rose here for you, my high priestess, coming up out of Hades. To dance in the sun one more time. It indicates to me that you're going to have a choice right here about a new friend. Hmm? Michael sitting right next to the emperor. Two wands, the two pinnacles. Yeah, look, ace of cups. Yeah, man. It, it, it indicates, ooh, it indicates you might go with that ace, that new. The world card came out after all that about it. <laughs> an old cycle ending and a new cycle beginning. Erica. I hope you got some out of this, my friend. May our dreams come true, my high priestess. Love and light. Love and light. All right. <clears throat> All right. Where are we at? Kitty Cat Black. Kitty Cat Black, you still in the house? We're going to do you a Major Arcana movie spread right here, my friend. Kitty Cat Black. Kitty Cat Black. Kitty Cat Black. And then Stella J. Stella J, you were up after Kitty Cat Black. All right, let's do it. Kitty Cat Black. I got the uh, Tarot Apocalyptus. Kitty Cat Black, love team. Give me a give me a movie spread right here with Major Arcana for Kitty Cat Black. Here we go. Scorpio season definitely showing up around here, huh? It's it's death. That's a Scorpio card. That's about death and rebirth. Uh, can be coming out of some challenging times right now, but for me, this is the story of the of of, of the caterpillar becoming the butterfly. You know, being released from the cocoon. Here we go. Death and rebirth has showed up here. Kitty cat black, big Scorpio card. And another one right here, another Scorpio card about rebirth. This is this is rebirth for you. Death and rebirth. This is a card about Phoenix from its ashes. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Two Scorpio cards have showed up here. Kitty Cat Black. Give me a major arcana movie spread. And strength from the gods on your new journey right here. Strength. Don't you love that strength card? <laughs> what you talking about? <laughs> what you talking about? <laughs> strength from the gods on this new... I see a butterfly coming out of the cocoon. Here we go. Here we go, <laughs> man. Here we go. Here we go. Give me something on this. Kitty Cat Black. What do we got? The Empress energy right there. You know, the Empress. Look at this. The Empress with that strength card. Uh, beautiful rebirth energy for you. You know, this is Venus. This is love and abundance. Definitely about knowing your worth, how amazing that you are. Um, The Empress, she doesn't chase anybody or anything. She uses law of attraction to attract her love and abundance of the highest degree. Ooh, looks to me like you're attracting love and abundance, my darling. And it looks to me like, I don't know, you may not want to play with anybody from the past. Yeah, it looks like new fresh energy right here, man. It's something. 
I'll pull you another card. It's the Hermit card. It's about quiet time with Source. Healing the heart, healing the mind. Again, this deck, that looks like the High Priestess to me. Um, maybe American Indian, uh, maybe Eskimo, but definitely High Priestess. Connected to the star right there. I always see this as the gods shining their light on you, leading and guiding you. That's why I need another card right here. Strength, beautiful rebirth energy, coming out of some challenging times is what it says. But we got Venus here. We got the leading and the guiding of the divine, healing. See, because it's going to the star. Oh. As an emperor showed up. An emperor showed up here. <laughs> oh, damn, and a hierophant, too. Home there, home there, home there. Wow. <laughs> you may be done with the past right there, my friend. Healing, loving yourself, realizing how amazing you are. Venus showed up, and the leading and the guiding of the divine. And then an emperor. An emperor is over here. An emperor is over here, my friend, and a big, oh, amazing hierophant. May all your dreams come true. Kitty Cat Black, may the best one catch you. Love and light. Love and light. All right. Stella J. Is Stella here? And then uh, Nina. Nina, Tracy, Mitchell, Secrecy, and I may have some other friends that I haven't looked, so that's where we're going right now with Stella. Stella, are you still here? And then Nina is up next. Stella, we're going to pull you a major arcana movie spread. Let's do it. My Stella. My Stella. My Stella. I'm going to play with the star, man, Stella. Stella, love team. Stella J. We're looking for a major arcana movie spread from the star man. The Emperor. The Emperor showed up around here, Stella. Let's see where this goes, huh? That's uh, Divine Masculine Energy. Um, I like that Emperor, to be honest. Well, let's see what comes out, you know. Divine Masculine Energy has showed up on your spread. Let's go. Stella. Stella. A movie spread right here from my Stella. Is this might be a story about somebody that you know. Maybe this emperor right here. Been stuck like Chuck in a broke down truck. Uh, maybe this emperor right here has been in the hangman's tree for a minute. Hangman's about looking at things differently. Looks like Source is getting involved. Uh, big old lightning bolt. Big old lightning bolt. That would definitely knock Hangman out of the tree. Let's go. Stella. Stella. Oh, wow. Uh, the devil came out. Oh, this could be somebody about thinking about, you know, uh, how they maybe screwed something good up. Yeah, star. <laughs> this is about somebody having a revelation that they screwed something up, if I'm reading this correctly, Stella. See, it's star to temperance. And then the wheel right there, the wheel of the return. This is about somebody realizing that, well, you know, <laughs> damn it, I'm screwing up some soulmate stuff here, man. Well, I wish them the best. I do, man. This is about somebody breaking chains that bind, uh, coming out of the hangman's tree. 
Uh, they want to play with their star, right? That's a, that's a card of destiny. And uh, Temperance has my two soulmates in their hand, Michael and the Wheel of Fortune, the Wheel of the Return, an omen of good luck and good fortune. And there's one more card I want to share with you about this right here. It's the Hierophant. <laughs> oh, oh, somebody, somebody wants to fix something around here, darling. All I know is that, um, my, I, you know, I hope they do catch their star, but it's definitely up to you, ain't it? Anyway, Stella, may all your dreams come true. We did get the Wheel of Destiny and the Hierophant. After probably a time of patience and the art of allowance, this is a card of healing and the potential for dreams to come true right here. Well, at least for the emperor. <laughs> potential for dreams to come true for this emperor over here. Been over there, uh, you know, hanging hanging in the hangman's tree for a minute. Anyway, I hope you got some of that, Stella. There you are. There you are, Stella. There you are, my friend. Um, I don't know, kid. I wanted to show you that, too. There's a sun at the end of this movie spread. Looks like two becoming one. That came out after the hair found. Anyway, love and light, Stella. Love and light, my friend. May all your dreams come true. All right, Nina. Nina, is Nina still around? Nina and then uh, Tracy. There's my Nina. Aries, okay. Yeah, Aries and Cancer rising. Mm. Wow. Okay. Anything in particular you want to look at, Nina? You get a uh, major arcana movie spread, and we're going to clarify it with a full tarot deck. Level two. Nina. Love. Okay, my friend. Okay. Well, let's play with the uh, Victorian romance then. Victorian Romance, 22 Major Arcana. Uh, we're looking for a love story, love team. From my friend Nina, my Aries friend. Cancer Rising. Here we go. Here we go. Nina. First card out. The Magician showed up. Gemini. Virgo. Aries. For me, you know, the magician, look at that lantern all lit up right there. Look at the, you know, the in the books. Who's that? I don't know, probably, I don't know, maybe, maybe the past. I don't know, it's a skeleton. That's all I know right there. Skeleton over there, looking at my magician. Anyway, the magician is all four aces for me, right? Ace of swords, ace of pentacles, ace of cups. And that Ace of Wands, it's Mercury. Um, it's for me, right? It's my deliberate creator. It's you. You're the magician right here. As above, so below. Pure positive thoughts and words. And inspired action right there. It's all new energy. Oh, there's the gods just showed up. Um, it's, it's the hermit um, Virgo card. It's, I call him Father Time. I call him Father Time, and he has his eye on the magician right here. Yay. Now, this is about planetary alignments and being led and guided by the divine. It says that, you know, oh, the gods definitely have their eye on you. No Father Time. I'm pouring out some strength for you. Strength from the gods on the magician's journey. Favor of the gods is on here as well. Judgment came out. Look at this judgment card right here. This is a Scorpio card. 
And Judgment is a card about Phoenix from its ashes, but it's such a fun picture, ain't it? Shows the gods and the goddesses. Shows a couple over here. Shows a bunch of friends. It says that you're manifesting this energy right here. Uh, this looks like a union to me. <laughs> That's what I'm reading. Give me some more on here, please. For Nina. 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 <laughs> um, oh my goodness, man. Well, with just a few short cards, there's strength again. So this has been quite a journey for you right here. And um, I got some interesting cards I did. I got the devil and the lovers. And judgment. That's a rebirth energy. Could be. I mean, it could be a twin flame journey. That's how I read it when these two cards come out, especially when they come out with Judgment and the Magician and Father Time. I got some kind of forward movement that came out with that too, right? The Chariot. The Chariot. The Chariot, you know, is on the Tree of Life. Runs the messages from the gods to the people and from the people to the gods. It's about love story. It's a beautiful energy about a rebirth right here. Could be twin flame. Strong soulmate energy. Huh? Says that you've been very patient. The art of allowance is on here. Let's see what the tarot says. Give me some clarification on this, please. Clarification on this. For Nina, Nina, give me something on the hermit. Oh, Father Time. Father Time's here. Eight swords, you know, that can, that can, you know, that's about the jailbreak of the mind, right? It's, it's very powerful. Um, I see a union here, if that's what you're interested in. And, uh, oh, Father Time, look at him shining their lantern. On my Eight of Swords friend, you know. Um, getting all out of the head, you know. About this journey right here. And shifting your energy over to the Magician. Which is definitely, uh, right, pure positive energy. And pure positive words and inspired action. It's a jailbreak of the mind right there. Quiet time with Source could help you with that. If I'm reading this correctly. Give me something on the magician, please. The magician from my Nina. Here we go. Oh, wow. <laughs> King of Wands showed up. <laughs> uh, fire, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. <laughs> hey, hey, looks like you're manifesting the King of Wands. <laughs> you know, they're good looking, exciting, charismatic, fun to be with. <laughs> Here we go. Give me judgment, please. Give me judgment. Oh, that's interesting. That's a king of swords. Wow. <laughs> oh, that's very interesting right there. Yeah, I got two face cards that showed up here and one and the devil and the lovers. That could change this whole story right here, huh? Is this about a choice? The Lovers is on here. Could very much be about a choice right there. I got a King of Swords. That's how I came out on Judgment. That can be making a Judgment call, right? And because the King of Wands is on the Magician. Oh. Wow. Choose wisely, my friend. Give me something on the Lovers. That changed that whole thing up for me. Oh, the Lovers. Give me some on the Lovers, please. Oh, you're saying hasta la vista to somebody. Eight cups. <laughs> you know, it's, about, it's about a choice, man. It's about a choice. You know, hopefully you're, 
Hopefully you're breaking these chains that bind over here. Eight swords. The gods shining their lantern. I mean, it's about being led and guided by the divine. Looks like, you know, and uh, and this eight cups came out of that king of swords. I'm just saying right there. King of swords could be over here with this eight swords, right? And uh, this uh, fire energy is on the magician, which, uh, you know, the magician has fire energy. All right, all right, all right. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Going up to the mountaintop to talk with the gods about a decision is what it says to me. Give me something on the devil. Give me something on the devil. To the chariot, man. I swear with the chariot. <laughs> the chariot always goes in. Oh, the devil. There's a little page of cups. Oh. Oh. Is that all you got? Is a little cup, devil? Damn, devil. You need to do better than that, man. Because there's a chariot right there, devil. I'm just saying, man. Yeah, you know, a little page of cups, man. Oh, well. Oh, well. <laughs> Let's go. Give me something on this chariot, please. Chariot. Chariot. Here we go, man. Here we go. What's that about? Oh, the three wands came out on that. Yeah, ship's docking up over here. Again, this fire energy. Oh, new ships docking up in the port around here. Hey, hey. Oh, I like it. I like it. I like it. Um, you know, it's, it's choose wisely. Choose wisely. These cards say that you are. You're gonna choose wisely, but there's definitely a choice. And I saw it, and I shuffled it up. Um, it is. It is. Uh, it's the old wounded warrior right there. Um, probably putting a wall up here to, you know, on our little page of cups and, uh, not giving up hope on love right there. Got that ace of wands in the hand, a chariot to three wands about, about the ships coming in, darling. Anyway, I see, uh, I see a new journey for you, my friend. Huh? Choose wisely. And it says the gods are with you. Love and light, Nina. Hope you got some out of that tonight. Love and light. Love and light. Okay, my Tracy. My Tracy. Is Tracy still here? Oh, thank you, Nina. Thank you. I'm so glad you're here tonight. Um, Tracy and then Mitchell and secrecy. And then I'm going to click up there. And see if I got anybody else. Oh, I got Samantha too. Samantha Keller to read here for tonight as well. Right now I'm looking for Tracy. Tracy, if you're in the house. Uh, oh, there you are, Tracy, right there. Thank you, my friend. New love and abundance. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. New love and new money. <laughs> hey, 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 yeah, this and that, darling. This and that. Yeah, yeah. You know, if you're going to dream, dream big. Go big or go home. <laughs> you know, I like it when I see somebody knows what they want, man. Knows that the universe is, you know, abundant with, with love and money. Yeah. All right. All right, my Tracy. Let's pull you a couple cards right here. See what they talk about love and abundance, darling. I bet they do. Set your intentions on it. Let's go, Tracy. Tracy, level two. So we'll start with a we'll start with a movie spread right here with the majors, and then we'll clarify it with a full tarot deck. We're looking for love. We're looking for abundance story right here. Oh, my Tracy. Here we go. First card out, Tracy. Here you go. Here you go. Thank you, Asagi. I'm gonna go and make sure. The high priestess showed up. Well, this is my priestess of the moon. My keeper of the mysteries of the collective unconscious. Hmm. She's definitely full of intuition and psychic abilities. Um, may have been down in Hades, right? The, the dark pillars here and the light pillars here. And that's because old Persephone's got to come up out of Hades. She didn't got to stay down in there. 
with my high priestess, my friend. Let's go. Let's see what's going on with my high priestess, Tracy. Hangman. Well, you know, this could be sick and tired of being stuck like Chuck in a broke down truck. And this is about thinking differently. And I love all the white light coming in here. That's source coming in. Coming out of, um, coming out of, you know, this, uh, it's a definitely a little bit of a dark energy. Wow, beautiful man. The world card showed up. Yay. Yay. That's breakthrough right there. That's about an old cycle ending. And a new cycle beginning, right? It's about thinking about things differently. Inspired action. Being led and guided by the divine. New world showed up. Perfect. Perfect. Give me some for my Tracy, please. We're looking for love and abundance in this new world. Oh, the sun, darling. <laughs> <laughs> this is love and abundance. It's definitely abundance. <laughs> it's the sun. It's about, you know, is that that new idea? Realizing that you're the center of the universe? I mean, that's how your angels see you. Yeah, that's how your ancestors see you. That's the sun. I love the sun, right? Persephone's coming up out of this dark night of the soul energy right here, man. It's a real breakthrough right here. New world to the sun, darling. That's the best card in the tarot deck. Abundance, prosperity. Could be a strong union as well. Give me one more for my Tracy, please. Oh, and a chariot. <laughs> no, no, it's big cancer right there with the yin-yang ponies on it, darling. It looks like, you know, maybe you got a friend going to come charging in because they want to play in the sun in the near future. Oh, we do, we we got because the chariot runs the love messages between the gods and the people. Wow, nice victory cards here, uh, Tracy. As the as the new world came, sun chariot. So let's play a little bit of tarot on this, a little bit of clarifier right here. Set your intentions on love and abundance, and these uh, major arcanas showed it. Right, the chariot is the victory card of the tarot, if you ask me. And so is the sun. Here we go. Give me some on Hangman, High Priestess. A major arcana jumped out of it. A fool, a fresh start, a new beginning. Uh, childlike innocence, case of Ra, Sera, whatever it'll be, will be definitely coming out of that. Uh, you know, it's dark energy right there. It's a breakthrough for you. I'm, I'm excited. It's Uranus, the planet of sudden change from my high priestess. Here we go. Give me some on the world, please. Keep it there as a love, darling. Forward movement right here, man. Eight wands of passion just showed up after the fool. That is a very positive card. Seems to be coming in here for you. This is a money card, darling. It's nine of pentacles. It's my independent, self-assured, confident business person. It's right there on the sun. No wonder the chariot's showing up around here. This is minor arcana empress energy for me. You got a chariot coming in here for you. Keep it there as a love flying around this new world. And definitely leaving this hangman, uh, dark night of the soul energy where it belongs, in the past. Give me one more from my chariot here, please. My chariot from my Tracy. Oh, it's a love offer, darling. It's a page. It's a page. This could be a new energy, um, a new love story unfolding, an offer coming in here for you. I don't know, man. I got a beautiful... These are majors. This is Virgo. This is Sagi. This is the divine. This is angelic. Temperance. The art of allowance has showed up around here. Um, 
This, oh wow, and underneath that is uh, one more amazing card. I'm going to share it with you. Is Six Wands. This is my card about victory after the battle because of confidence in yourself. It is Jupiter in Leo. It is my card about receiving the attention that you are worthy of. And a big, big, beautiful Scorpio card right there about judgment, about Phoenix from its ashes right here. I see love. I see abundance. Tracy, may all your dreams come true. Go on, go on with yourself, my high priestess. Go on with yourself. Fool card. Fresh new energy coming in here. Love and light. Love and light, Tracy. May all your dreams come true. Um, I am with Mitchell right now. And I'm going to check my list right now. I got Mitchell and Secrecy. And Samantha Keller to read for tonight. Let me see who. Oh. Okay, Carrie. Hi, Carrie. Oh, you want a love story? Okay, all right. Let's we'll see what the tarot has to say here, Carrie. Thank you for the blessing, my friend. That'll get you a level two read right here. That'll get you a level two read. Uh, I'm going to flip the page over. <laughs> well, no, I don't want to do that. Sometimes I miss them when I do that. So, it's me, Carrie. And a level two read about love with a Sagittarius in 2024. Okay. I got you on my list, my friend. Thank you for the blessing. Appreciate you so very much. And thank you for your patience, too. All right. We're with Mitchell. Mitchell, are you still in the house, my friend? We got Mitchell... Secrecy, It's Me, Carrie, and Samantha Keller. I have four people left to read here for tonight. And Mitchell is up. Mitchell is up. Um, no, I think that um, your question... Uh, uh, Kira, Dawn, Colson. I haven't seen that super chat show up, to be honest with you. But, no, you would need to put it in, um, in American currency, if you would. It probably about $13. I, I think it's just a little bit different with Canada. Um, I think that's where it says that you, yeah, Canada. Yeah, just put your uh, denomination in for American currency, and it, it'll cost you a couple extra dollars, nothing major. But I, I, I don't see, let me look again. I don't see your, uh, your super chat. Maybe you're just asking. Yeah. Yeah, I don't see your super chat here. So, um, uh, yeah, right here. It's me, Carrie. It says Canadian, $13.99. They should make all money the same, but whatever, man. I don't, I don't understand that game that they play. But anyway, it says thirteen ninety nine for my Canadian friends, and I, I, I don't see your super chat either. Okay. Okay. So. Let me get focused back here on my friend Mitchell, Mitchell Bradley, Mitchell, longtime member of the nation. Oh, there it is right there. Okay. Kiera, Kiera Dawn. Oh, <laughs> Sagittarius in Canada. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. All right. Thank you. 
Let me put you on my list right here. Two of my Canadian friends want to know about a Sagittarius. Oh, lordy. Oh, lordy. <laughs> here we go. Kiara Dawn. That's what I'm, that's what I'm going to put. Uh, that's how I'll tag you right there. Kiara Dawn. Um, look at love. With Saggy. Okay, that's a level two. And Carrie is a level two. Thank you, my friends. All my love, all my Canadian friends. Appreciate you very much. Mitchell. <laughs> Mitchell. Mitchell. Let's pull you a couple cards, bruh. Yeah. All right, Mitchell. Uh, I feel led to uh, pull you a movie spread, Mitchell, with the uh, Tarot Apocalyptus. I, I like this one. Let's go, Mitchell. Mitchell, longtime member of the nation. Mitchell, let's get a movie spread right here for Mitchell with the majors. Mitchell, first card out, here we go. The sun, bro, you look amazing. That's Zeus in this deck. You look amazing. Damn. Damn, son. <laughs> uh, you know, that's all I can say right here, man. <laughs> Let the sun shine, brah. Let the sun shine, man. Wow, Mitchell. Digging that one for you. How the sun shining on you. Oh, Lordy. Let's go. Let's go, Mitchell. Mitchell. Mitchell, Mitchell, what's going on? Oh, the sun and the moon. Damn. That's divine masculine energy and divine feminine energy right off the bat, man. Could still be an energy in the 5D, right? Because the sun and the moon, they're, they're, they're not on the earth. <laughs> they're not on the earth. This could be an energy that's in the 5D right now, but you look amazing. Looks like you're attracting divine feminine energy, brother. Huh? Let's see what's going on around here. Wow. Okay, Mitchell. 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 Dude. The world card showed up. With the lovers on it. Wow, there's a new world coming in around here, Mitchell. <laughs> the sun and the moon, they want to come and play in a new world right here. Oh, I like it. Wow, Mitchell, <laughs> let the sun shine, brah. Let the sun shine. Here we go. What do we got? A Scorpio card came out. Scorpio season as I'm recording this right here. About a death and rebirth energy. You know, I mean, the sun and the moon, they could know each other in the 3D. It may take a minute for the sun and the moon to put it together so they can play on Earth. I wonder if that's what that death card's about right there. It's a death and rebirth energy for you, bro. I know that's for sure. I know that's for sure. Here we go. Here we go. Hi, Smiley. I'll be with you in a minute. Mitchell, Mitchell, new world energy right there. Oh, wow, justice came out after the death card. You may know him, you know. I mean, it's the sun and the moon, man, ending an old cycle and possibly starting a new cycle, death and rebirth to justice. ha. <laughs> Seems to be seems to be because of the magician right here, <laughs> the magician right here, Mitchell. Yeah, the magician. You know, as above, so below. Energy right. This is the one that brings this heavenly energy to the earthly plane. I'll tell you that. This this one right here has the power to uh, pull this energy right down into the three D. It's about pure positive thoughts and pure positive words and inspired action. Oh, magician showing up around here. 
The old magician showing up around here manifesting uh, rebirth energy and justice energy and manifesting a new world with the sun and the moon. Hope you got some out of that, Mitchell. Very powerful, my magician. Love and light, my friend. Love and light. All right, my secrecy. Thank you for your patience, secrecy. We're doing a level two spread for you tonight. That's all the majors, the major movie story and clarification on it with a full tarot deck right here uh, for my secrecy. So secrecy, if you're still around here, um, maybe what you'd like to look at. Let me put you down here, smiley. Eleven months of membership, Smiley. Thank you so very much. I swear, it just seems like yesterday when your name started showing up around here with a badge. Thank you so very much, Smiley. Appreciate you so very much. Pull some cards here for you in just a little bit, my friend. Smiley Maltese. Secrecy. Secrecy. Level two read for my secrecy. Oh, hey, Mitchell. Mitch the Magician. <laughs> I like that, bro. I like that, man. Yeah. All right, secrecy. Secrecy. Let's play with the star secrecy. We'll do a major arcana movie spread with the star right here. And then we'll clarify it with a full tarot deck. Let's go. Secrecy. 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 Movie spread for secrecy. Here we go. Change. Change showed up around here. Secrecy. It's a tower. Scorpio, Aries energy on that. It is my card of sudden change. Um, it's always the gods. It does have a dove flying around there with that lightning bolt. Um, you know, it can be about a situation that wasn't on a firm foundation that the gods got involved in. Give me something right here for my secrecy. Secrecy. Sudden change showed up, secrecy. Let's go. Hey, an emperor just showed up around here. Maybe it's change with uh, divine masculine energy. I mean, it is, it is the emperor just showed up around here. This is an Aries card. The towers, Aries, and Scorpio. That's about sudden change, man. Secrecy, what's going on? You got a divine masculine? If you don't, you may soon. Here we go, man. Here we go. Secrecy, what's going on? If you do have a divine masculine in your in your in your energy in your world, there's some kind of change going on with them. Okay, give me a card right here. Secrecy. Oh, a fool came out. Wow, another another Aries energy. Wow. <laughs> okay. And that is about a fresh start and a new beginning. Wow. What's going on with this emperor? It's in your spread right here. Taking that old leap of faith. Taking that old leap of faith. The sun showed up. The sun showed up. The sun showed up. Okay, okay, here we go. The sun and the Hierophant. I should have left the sun out. Look at the Hierophant showed up around here. And I'm going to dig the sun out. I'm going to dig the sun out. And then we're going to pull some majors on it right here. The sun to the Hierophant. <laughs> Damn. It says, it talks about sudden change in the masculine energy. 
They're going to take a fresh start, a leap of faith, because they want to play in the sun, and they're coming in with Hierophant energy. That's what that says to me. Let's see what a uh, full deck of tarot wants to talk about. Uh, with secrecy right here. Secrecy, give me something on the tower, please. Some on the tower. Secrecy. Temperance. The art of allowance. The art of allowance. <laughs> Somebody wants to play in the sun, secrecy. <laughs> you probably know them. You probably know them. Here we go, here we go. Temperance, the art of allowance. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Oh, nine cups. Oh my God, nine cups came out on the emperor. We got an emperor making a wish that he can complain the sun. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Looks like they're going to take a leap. Looks like they're going to take a leap. They're, they're making a wish right now. They're making a wish. They're hoping that the angel of the middle way is working with them. Here we go. Here we go. Give me something on the... On a fool, please. Secrecy. Oh, wow. Look what came out on that. Three pinnacles. That's a card of collaboration. That's a card about, you know, building a building a foundation with somebody that's important to you. Yeah, the sun. <laughs> okay. Okay, man. They are hoping and praying that the high priest is going to gonna come in here. High priestess right there. Look at him. Look at him, man. Oh, my high priestess. <laughs> Here we go, man. Oh, they be hoping and a praying, huh? <laughs> they can play in the sun. They be hoping and a praying, man. The high priestess is coming. Give me something on the sun. These are nice cards. They are. Nice cards for my secrecy. <laughs> what is that about? <laughs> Oh, man, it's a, it's a change in a cycle right here, if you want it, if you want it, right? Because, um, uh, I don't know, man, it's 10 wands, so, uh, you know, the towers here, this may have been a heavy burden at one time, but the reason I giggle is because there's the ace of wands on the other end of that right there. You know, <laughs> that's about a passionate new beginning, and a star is underneath that, if I could just say, right? It's about hopes and dreams and healing and star energy on here. It's this emperor over here, if you ask me. Oh, they are hoping and praying for their empress. Oh, my goodness. Uh, empress, Venus incarnate in the earth. It is a, it's a nice story. It's a beautiful story about, uh, well... Our classic story about uh, the emperor coming into their right mind. <laughs> hey, may all your dreams come true, secrecy. Hope you got something out of this. We got the sun to the Hierophant, darling. Uh, may all your dreams come true. May all your dreams come true. All right, all right, all right, my lovelies. Let's do it again. I have three friends to read here for tonight. It's me, Carrie, a level two reading. Um, what's going to go down with me and my Saggy and, and another friend, um, Kiara Dawn, level two, and Smiley Maltese. And I think I've caught everybody. Give me a minute right here just to make sure. Oh, Sierra Luna. I knew I wanted to check. Sierra Luna, two months. Thank you, Sierra. Okay. I got you right there, Sierra. So right now, it's we are up with It's Me, Carrie. It's Me, Carrie. Let's pull you some cards. A level two spread. It's me, Carrie. He wants to know what's going on. What's going on with that Saggy right there? Thank you, Sierra. All right, it's me, Carrie.
Hello, my friend. Nice to see you tonight. Okay. Let's take a look and see what's going on around here. I'm going to play with my Terra Luminati Major Arcana for your movie spread. And we'll clarify with a full tarot deck. I want a love story. I want to know about that old Saggy. Give me something right here. Give me something right here. Carrie. Oh, shit, man. Death card came out. Oh, that's a death and rebirth energy right here. I don't know if you guys had a fallout or something, you know. You may have with the death card right there. Scorpio. Scorpio season, right? It's a death card. It's about death and rebirth. Let's see where we go right here. Let's see where we go right here. Okay. Okay. It's me, Carrie. Big Scorpio energy. Death and rebirth showed up. What we got? Hangman. I always see Hangman, right? Look at the... Oh, look at you two. Oh, Hangman's about getting a new perspective. If there's been some kind of fallout. We got a little bit of Dark Knight of the Soul. I want you to pick yourself up by your bootstraps. We got a rebirth right here. And we got somebody thinking about probably how they screwed everything up. Can I say that with Hangman? <laughs> yeah, screwed everything up with their high priestess. Huh? Huh? All right, give me something right here. Carrie, my priestess of the moon, my keeper of the mysteries. Yeah, this is somebody that realized maybe that they missed it. Yeah, the high priestess again. Uh huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> they, <laughs> they weren't tuned in. <laughs> Here we go. Hangman will get your ass tuned in. You know, that's a very spiritual card. It's about spending time with Source. So kind of an unwilling to spend time with Source. Hermit's more of a willingness to spend some time with the Divine. Hangman, you got put in a damn tree. <laughs> you know. Here we go, man. My Carrie. What's going on around here? <laughs> Star. You know. Faith and hope. <laughs> seeing, seeing the vision. Uh, dream dreamer. Dream dreamer. It says right here, hangman, thinking about the star. Oh, oh, you know, that's a beautiful healing energy right here. Death and rebirth. Yeah. Hangman's deep in thought these days. <laughs> here we go. Here we go. Carrie. Carrie. Give me one right here. Carrie. The sun came out, darling. The sun and the star. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Yeah, you know, things may turn around here if they've been a little upside down. You know, a chariot, yeah. That's a card of forward movement. Maybe, 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 maybe it's Hangman. Get the, get themselves out of that tree right there. Tuned in to Source. You can see the charioteer. They all lit up. They, they want to come charging in here for the sun. There's some healing. This all came out of this healing of the star right here. The sun, which can indicate a strong union. And the, the chariot is the one that l runs the love messages between the gods and the people. There's a justice card right there about things balancing out with my lovers, darling. Let's throw some cards on this, huh? Huh? There's a Saggy card, the Wheel of Fortune, the Wheel of the Return. Oh, wow, Divine Masculine. All right. Let's play a little bit of tarot on this. Um, yeah, there's beautiful energy right here. There's been some kind of fallout. Doesn't seem like it's forever. <laughs> hey, because with the healing, the star to the sun, to the chariot, to the Wheel of Destiny with the Emperor, Justice and the Lovers. Oh, well, Chariot's right here, kid. Thank you for tuning me in like that. Chariot is right here. That's a card of movement. That's a card of movement where the sun's shining. This is a card of faith and hope. I'm pointing at the star right there. Right? Yeah, they're stuck right now, but there's a huge shift here. It's very positive, really. 
And thank you for sharing that with me, because that is a card of movement. And then the emperor came out, right? Looking at the old wheel of destiny and all that. Thank you. Give me some on the death card, please. Or Carrie. Yep. The Seven of Cups can be about confusion. Probably this emperor. Um, but the big, beautiful red rose in the middle of all these seven cups, you know, that would be you. It's your spread right here. Coming out of confusion, death and rebirth, realizing where the, where the rose is at. Hangman. Now, I want you to get your rest. If this is you right here, it's nine swords, okay? I want you to get your rest. I don't want you wringing your hands. Give it to the gods. That's what the star is about, to the sun. Giving it to the gods to the best of your ability, right? Watch watch that stinking thinking as much as you can because, you know, in my opinion, we create, we create what we think and what we feel and what we believe. So get your rest. Get your rest. Get your sleep. Give it to the gods right here. It's very positive cards about movement in your direction, my friend. Give me some on the star for Carrie, please. <laughs> it's it's the pony. It's the pony right there. You know, it's the slow pony, but he is the only one that, you know, crosses the finish line right here. <laughs> there they are right there, man. You know, Knight of Pentacles. I mean, the knights are always on a, on a, on a mission, on a quest. And uh, this one's kind of slow, but this is the only one that really crosses the finish line of the quest. Give me something on this. Sun, please. Sun, please. Queen of Swords. <laughs> Queen, of, Queen of Swords. I'm giggling, you know. Because <laughs> the Queen of Swords is probably tired of waiting on this journey right here. <laughs> I'm just, you know, I'm just saying it's Queen of Swords energy right there. Now, she's sweet. Generally, she has her hand out in traditional tarot, you know. She's probably tired of this, <laughs> this slow journey ride. Anyway, I, I, I like Queen of Swords. I do. Give me something on this chariot. That is a card of uh, movement right here, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's nice. It's nice. You may have air in your chart. I don't know. I like it. Queen of Swords. She's brilliant. Great communication. I like Queen of Swords. Oh, look. Judgment came out on the chariot, darling. Gabriel blowing a horn. That's a, that's, you know, <laughs> that's, that's a nice. If you want, if you want somebody to actually get in that chariot, that is a yes. Um, but this could talk maybe, I don't know, you do what you want to do. It can talk about a little detach energy to get the, get the pony moving, but... She's full of wisdom and clarity and insight. Anyway, whatever's going on around here, gets the chariot to move. Gets the chariot to move. I like it. Give me some on that old emperor up there, please. That old emperor on the lovers and the wheel of destiny, the wheel of fortune. Give me some on that old emperor right there. An ace of swords. <laughs> That's a card of communication and new starts and new beginnings. Look. There's more movement right there. Six of swords. Six of swords. Cutting chains that bind. Whatever's going on around here. I got an emperor moving towards a chariot right here. In this uh, beautiful, beautiful love story. And now I want you to get your rest and get your sleep. Okay? You're the rose. You're the rose right there in this story right here. May all your dreams come true. This is a... Uh, this is uh, things going forward the way that you want them to go in uh, 2024. Love and light. Love and light. My carry. Okay. Uh, Kira. Kira Dawn. I hope I said your name right, Kira. Kira Dawn wants to take a look at love story... Sagittarius style again. And then we got uh, Smiley Maltese and Sierra Luna.
It did say that, my magician. <laughs> it did talk about a little bit of detach energy too. Right? Use your wisdom, right? Right? Got to keep that carrot out there. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's, the, it's the love game. Anyway, do what's best for you. All right. All right, Kira, let's play you some cards. All right. Let's play with uh, Tarot Apocalyptus. Tarot Apocalyptus. It's the level two read, all the major, major movie spread and clarification. Kira, Kira, Kira. Oh, Carrie, welcome to the family. So forward to get, yeah, so looking forward to getting to know you. Thank you, my friends. Thank you so very much. Everybody say hi to Carrie. Who we got in the house? We got 32 of you in the house. Everybody say hi to Carrie. Give her a big welcome. Appreciate you. All right, Kiara, 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 Kiara. A love story. What's going on around here? Well, my high priestess came out. This is my priestess of the moon. It's my keeper of the mysteries of the collective unconscious. This is undoubtedly Persephone's, you know. Uh, she's been in Hades for a while. And she gets to come up and come out because... Well, she makes a deal with that pomegranate right there if you read the story. She gets to come up out of Hades. Um, it's a great card of intuition and psychic abilities. She knows, man. She knows. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. I like it. I like it. I, I love that high priestess right there. All right. Kiara, my high priestess. What's going on around here? We're looking for a love story. Oh, yeah, definitely High Priestess. Oh, I like it. This is the Virgo card. It is the Hermit card. And again, you don't see too many uh, Divine Feminine represented on the Hermit card, but in this one you do, right? Uh, it could be American Indian or Eskimo, but definitely looks like High Priestess and definitely tuned into Source and definitely has a dream. Now, I see this myself as the card of the gods. And um, they, 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 they are, seem to be, uh, you know, have their eye on you. Uh, you have the favor of the gods. And they seem to be connected to your dream. It could be some quiet time right now. Spending time with Source. Again, this is a willing surrender to the divine. Here we go. Here we go. Kiera. Kiera. We're looking for a love story here. Oh, wow. Justice came out. Oh, that's big Libra. It's an energy of the gods weighing the scales and them falling in your favor. You know, probably more than just love. This is really, really powerful. If things have been challenging for you, my high priestess, that justice card says that things are going to be balancing out here for you soon and very soon. That the gods have weighed the scale and they have fallen in your favor. More, please. More, please. More, please. Kiera. A death and rebirth. Scorpio energy right there. Death and rebirth, kid, after to the sun. Oh, damn. <laughs> damn. Damn, who's that right there? Oh, damn. What's going on now? This is, oh, this is a story about the Persephone's coming into the sun. Something about a death and rebirth around here. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, lovers. Lovers right there, darling. Oh, <laughs> Ooh, um, well, I don't have a Sagittarius card on here, but I do have my High Priestess 
tapped into her dream. And then justice came out. And then a rebirth energy came out. And the sun shining with the lovers, darling. So let's throw out... Let's throw out some cards on this right here, okay? Maybe a maybe a Sagi card will show up, but this is about uh, the high priestess going playing in the sun. The sun is the best card in the tarot deck. Can't talk about a strong union of the lovers right here. Rebirth energies. The, uh, the uh, caterpillar coming the butterfly, coming out of the cocoon. Give me something. I'm a high priestess. And high priestess could say, you know this is going to happen. Give me something on my high priestess, please. Kira. Three cups showed up. See, this is a card of um, happiness and joy and bliss. It is also a card of reconciliation energy. If, if there's been some kind of fallout here. Um... It's a, it's, a, it's a card of happiness and joy and bliss is coming in here from my high priestess. We can read it like that. It's something on that, on that hermit card right there. Six of Wands. Six of Wands is about victory after the battle, confidence in yourself, receiving the attention that you're worthy of. That's connected to that star right there. Again, I call this card the Triumph and Return of the Sun King. You got a lot of fire on here. There's definitely a lot of fire. Give me something on justice, please. Justice. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, it's six cups. It's six cups. Oh, sweet energy right here. <laughs> you know, that's about that's about some people putting something together, darling, for my queen of love right there. My queen of love just showed up around here. Oh, oh, wow, 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 wow. I mean, I hope it's your saggy. Somebody's coming here for you. That's that Ace of Pentacles right there. Look at the Queen of Love. Oh, damn. Oh, I don't know, man. I still, I don't know, kid. I still haven't seen a Sagittarius card showed up, but I do see a love story right here. Maybe a choice right here. Maybe a choice. Choose wisely. The sun's on here. The sun is on here. It's about receiving the attention that you're worthy of. Could be a past life lover. Six of Cups is here on justice. My queen of love could be looking at a new offer right here. Oh, load it. Oh, load it. <laughs> oh, 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 damn. Look at four wands. Anyway, I don't know who this is right here, but this is the potential, right? This is about dancing around. This is about preparing for the big day. And, and Six of Wands is the big day. That's on the Hermit card connected to the star. I still haven't seen any Saggy show up, man. Uh, but you got a love story unfolding here. Just <laughs> It's about my high priestess getting happy. Three cups could say that you could meet somebody new. Look, look. Four cups right there. There may be a new offer coming in here. Just saying. I'm just reading tarot. <laughs> let, me, let me look in that cup. Is, it, is that got love in that love pudding? Let me, let me, because, you know, these can talk about empty cups over here, man. Oh, we got some fours. That talks about stability coming in here for you, especially after that Ace of Pentacles, my queen of love. My queen of love. Oh. Huh. All these cards, I still don't have a Saggy card. <laughs> I'm giggling because as soon as I said I don't have a Saggy card, this guy was looking at me. <laughs> yeah. Damn it. Damn it. You know, that's about the sexiest devil in any of my decks right there. And a choice about the lovers. <laughs> Uh, anyway, anyway, I see the potential for somebody new to show up around here, my high priestess. 
Looks like you may be taking a look at a new cup right here soon, very soon. Got a lot of, a lot of new beginning energy around here. And uh, the devil for me is about breaking chains that bind. So, see, uh, that three cups can talk about new. That three cups can talk about a reconciliation energy. Spending time with source, justice coming out. Death and rebirth to the sun and to the lovers. Wow. I wish you Saji the best, uh, <laughs> but uh, this 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 showed this showed somebody new, darling. May all your dreams come true. Love and light, love and light. Do what's best for you, my high priestess. Do what's best for you, knowing that you are the catch. You're the queen of love. You're the queen of love. That's what it was all about, right there. Smiley, my smiley. My smiley. Yeah, do what's best for you, my high priestess. My smiley. Smiley Maltese. Smiley, you still in the house? Yeah, that had a little twist on there at the end. I love, I love Soros, man. <laughs> you know, and that's the challenging thing about it. As I read my cards as they come out, um, I, I, it's probably the most challenging way to read tarot, if you ask me. A lot of people pull all the cards out and sit there and study them for three or four minutes. You know, it's probably the best way to do it. But I just like to read it in the now, in the moment with you. All right, my smiley. My smiley. My smiley. Thank you, Kier. I received that. Very kind of you, my friend. All right. All right, my smiley. Uh, a movie spread, Major Arcana movie spread for Smiley, 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 long time member, Smiley, here we go, first card out, the lovers, darling, oh lordy, <laughs> I say oh lordy because it's first card out, there may be a choice coming in here, because that's what the lovers card's about, it's about choices, <laughs> choose wisely, choose wisely, you look amazing up there, Smiley. Is that you? Oh, yeah, that's you. Yeah, You look amazing up there, darling. <laughs> Let's see what's going on. Smiley, smiley, lover's card. First one out. Here we go. My smiley, my smiley. Give me something right here. Smiley. Wow. A uh, big Scorpio card came out. Could be some change. Could be some change. It's Scorpio energy right here. This is my, you know, it's death. It's about death and rebirth. You know, the uh, the butterfly coming on out of the cocoon. Hmm. Big Scorpio right here. Big Scorpio, big Gemini lovers. Death card, load it. <laughs> here we go, smiley. Smiley, oh my Capricorn friend. All right. All right, Smiley. There could be some change. Could be some change, my friend. Give me something on this. Another Scorpio card about rebirth right here. Wow, that's interesting. And I got two rebirth cards right here. And the lovers. Well, somebody definitely wants to play with you. Uh, we'll get into the tarot here and see what this choice may be about. This choice could just be about, do I want to raise something up from the dead? Do I, do I want to rebirth? It's two Scorpio cards back to back about rebirth energy for you and Phoenix from its ashes. Give me some more on this for my smiley, please. How the sun came out, darling. The sun came out after rebirth right here. Death and rebirth, the lovers to the sun. That could be a strong union. A strong union. You know what's underneath here too is justice. And that's about that's about your love life balancing out here in the near future. Um, It could very well be about you uh, making a choice if you want to uh, give something another shot. It can indicate that um, balance, balance, because something 
may have ended here. The sun's here. That's a strong union. And it's a rebirth. So let's get the tarot deck out here and get a little more clarification. All I know is you got the sun coming in with justice. And you got a rebirth energy for you. Death and rebirth in the story right here. Smiley. 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 Um, you know. Give me something on the lovers, please. A little clarity, love team. Smiley. Seven of Cups. It says that you are, you, it says that somebody was confused about you. Uh, but they've ended up in Hangman's Tree. On that death card. It shows that the angel of the middle way is here. So we got somebody over here that would like a reconciliation energy with you. Then again, I got um, uh, an Ace of Cups, my friend. That could be a new beginning. That could be a new love offer coming in here for you. Yeah. Ooh. You know, the star bringing in healing. You got two Aces showing up around. Well, you see, Ace of Wands. Ace of Wands, Ace of Cups. I mean, choose wisely if there's a choice right here. I mean, you 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 know which energy this is. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, this is the energy we're all looking for right here. Uh, that came out on the sun right there, darling. <laughs> anyway, your love life looks great. I'm kind of wondering about what all this is about over here, but yeah, I like this Ace of Cups, the star, and the Ace of Wands. This, uh, on the sun and justice, my friend. Yeah. May all your dreams come true, smile. I hope you got something out of that, my friend. Love and light, love and light. Hey, Max, nice to see you tonight. And I do believe, let me see if I got everybody again, because every time I look, I got a new friend. Let's see what's going on. Oh, that's Carrie. Carrie, Carrie, come and hang out with us. Thank you again, Carrie. All right. Uh, Serena Luna. Serena Luna, let's play some tarot with you, my friend. Well, I'll take that, Smiley. Thank you. Appreciate you. Same with you, my friend. Okay. Serena Luna. Serena Luna. I want to thank all you guys. All right. Serena Luna. I seem to have grabbed uh, the Victorian romantic Serena. Huh? Thank you, Carrie. All right. Serena. The fool card came out. It's the old sacred clown right there. Hi, Serena. We got a fresh start and a new beginning energy here for you. Uranus, the plan of sudden change. I call him my sacred clown. What is going on around here? Fool to justice. Both of these jumped. Big Libra. Look at that justice card. I mean, I definitely don't want to tell you what to do, but I just look at pictures. Like a devil right there. And this is this has got two doves over here. And that sword is down like peace. You know, when that sword is raised up in justice, um, <laughs> you know. And this is about uh, things balancing out here for you in the earthly realm. Oh. 
Oh. Oh. Okay. I like justice on there then. I do. Give me something. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. You're taking a journey right here. It looks like you're leaving this, this energy behind. Right? This It's a devil right there. Uh, and these peaceful doves over here. And then the journey right there. You know. Chariot. So safe travels to you, my friend. I wonder what these two doves are about down here. Huh. <laughs> huh. You know. Out with that old devil energy that showed up on that card. Anyway. The chariot showed up, my friend. You may be putting a situation to an end, huh? It was Scorpio season. This card jumped as well with the chariot right there. It's a death card. It's a, it's a rebirth energy for you. I'll tell you that. I like everything I see right here. It's very positive. It's about letting past negative energies go. Maybe it's a person, a place, or a thing. But very freeing energy that I'm feeling right here. Really nice. Here we go. Here we go. Give me something about give me something about this chariot. Give me something about this chariot. Clearing a death cycle, rebirth of my butterfly right here. My mic just showed up from my earth angel. Oh. Oh, temperance showed up. That's the art of allowance, right? My, I always run with the two cups that, that are in my earth angel. This is, you know, it's, it's my earth angel, man. Uh, looks like you may run into the angels of the middle way on your journeys. I don't know. We're having fun, right? It looks like you may run into the angel of the middle way, right? It's bringing justice in on a new journey, death and rebirth. Wow. Well, well, well. We need a couple more cards on this, don't we, Zarina? Hey, enjoy your journey right here. Be safe. Have fun. Looks like you may run into the angel of the middle way. You know, that's the art of allowance, right? That's uh, allowing nothing but the goodness of the universe to be poured into you. You know, they're not too good for you, right? Here we go. Here we go. Give me something on that. Give me something on that. Drum roll, please. <laughs> there we go. The, oh, damn, the star came out. Oh. Well, enjoy your trip right here. Damn, you may run into your dream. Beautiful healing energy, right? Healing, the art of allowance. Um, it's, it looks good. It looks good. It looks like you're leaving whatever you need to leave behind. And uh, getting in the chariot. And got some friends there, you know. And uh, then the chariot runs into the angel of the middle way right there. And uh, behind the angel of the middle way is a star card about healing and, you know, dreams coming true. It's a fun spread. It's a fun spread. Yeah, there's father time right there. There's father time right there. You may you may not even be <laughs> you may not even be thinking about dreams coming true, but the gods are. The gods seem to be thinking about dreams coming true for you. Anyway, enjoy your chariot ride. Looks like you may look at all these heavenly hosts that showed up around here, right? The angel of the middle way, uh, Father Time, and then my you know my Earth angel right there. Uh, anyway, enjoy your enjoy your trip, man. Enjoy your trip, Serena. Enjoy your trip, and uh, don't be surprised if you run into the angel of the middle way. May all your dreams come true, Serena. Hope you enjoyed that. Love and light, my friend. Love and light. All right, all right, all right. Uh, definitely want to thank everybody that grabbed readings with me tonight thank you so very much my friends appreciate each and every one of you i'm gonna do it again tomorrow 
I'm going to go and timestamp everything right now. Put that, put that um, ancestors read together for a bunch of our friends, and I will absolutely timestamp everybody on this video right here. And probably sometime tomorrow, I will put out your personal video uh, for the private readings, where all of your names will be on the thumbnail. And you will be able to find that whenever you'd like to look for it over on my homepage under uh, personal readings playlist. Anyway, all my love, everybody. I had a wonderful time tonight. Thank you for all your blessings. May all your dreams come true. I'll see you tomorrow, 6 p.m. We'll do it again. Huh? Love and light, guys. Bye for now.